Welcome to Connection with Brian and Nicole Wright. Hello, welcome to Connection <laughs> with Brian and Nicole. Hi. I hope, I hope that that made it on camera where she, <laughs> she was doing her little off-camera dance. <laughs> that's awesome. Since it's already on there, might as well show yeah, you again. that's right. <laughs> Do it right. Do it right. So uh, we just welcome you. This is uh, uh, the week of Easter, Resurrection Sunday, yeah. uh, when this comes out. And so we just... We just invite you to celebrate yeah. the risen Savior, Amen. our Jesus Christ, who is alive. That's right. He is alive indeed, and uh, we just invite you to celebrate him. Uh, even if you're hearing this and it's not around that time, celebrate him today. Yes. And uh, we just welcome you to Connection. Uh, we want to connect with you and help you to connect more with God. And you, we want you to really connect with us. Uh, you can go to the website at connectionshow.org and you can look at past episodes. You can uh, watch, listen. You can email us. You can send us prayer requests. You can do all kinds of stuff there so go check it out and uh we are on the uh radio uh here local in albemarle yeah on, yeah and uh that's on saturday mornings at 8 a.m on wspc i believe that's 10 10 a.m and it then is. on sunday morning at uh i think it's 7 a.m i believe maybe 7 30 either way is early yeah <laughs> One, you're drinking coffee. I'm Lots barely getting ready for Sunday <laughs> service at that point. Yeah, it's, but uh, we are so happy to be on on that uh, radio station, and we just want to say thank you, Matt. Uh, Matt yeah. Smith, he Hi, is Matt. such a blessing to us, and thank you uh, for having the radio station and yeah. it, it really being a, a a godly place, and we appreciate that. And um, thank you, Matt. So there's a. Uh, we have been talking about resurrection, leave, stay, and go. And today we're talking about go. But uh, we did talk about leave and stay, which discussed the love of the Father and the love of Christ that it took for him to leave heaven. And then the love of the Father to send Christ. Yeah. And then we talked about the love of Christ to stay on the cross and go through uh, the torment and the death and the grave that he went through for us. And just how big that love is. Yeah. Uh, but all of that, all of that was done to get us to today. Yeah. All of it was done because he went to the earth, he went to the cross, but the point was to go into that grave so that that grave could then be opened up, yeah. death is swallowed up, and life comes to Jesus Christ. And through Jesus, we receive that life. Amen. The whole point was get to the place where the grave was opened and empty and it no longer held Jesus because of the life of God and the love of God that was then manifested. Because when that life was let go, the power of resurrection, when that resurrection life, that resurrection power was released to bust open that grave, everything that you had holding you back mm -hmm. was no longer an issue. God, that moment, you yes. became an overcomer. Yes, in Christ. Yeah. If you would have it. You became uh, something special. You're special. <laughs> I am special. <laughs> You're even more special <laughs> in this moment in my head. That's what. <laughs> I'm but sorry, I couldn't. You, it. <laughs> you you wanted to pick on me and call me special in front I of everybody. Did. That wasn't nice. He's so special. <laughs> But in God's heart, we are. Yeah. You really are something special, special enough for the Lord to send Christ for you. And But he had a plan, and his plan was to get to the empty tomb. His yeah. plan was to get to the place where Jesus went from the grave and ascended back to a position. And that position was the right hand of the Father. Amen. And when he did that, Something very special happened in your life if you'll receive it. He allowed us to become uh, 
he was the firstborn of mm -hmm. many brothers. He allowed us to become like him in yeah. so many different aspects. He allowed the power and the life of God to invade ours for us to become and walk in his authority. You know, we were originally made in the garden in his image yeah. and his likeness for a reason so that we would take the goodness, the blessing of God, we would multiply it all over the earth, we would bring about the fruitfulness of his love in Amen. this earth. That plan has never changed. Yeah. And it ran into a roadblock when Adam and Eve messed up. When you and I messed up, when we sinned, it's the same thing. But then when Christ came, he opened up that plan again and empowered you to be part of his family. Yeah. And uh, that's what we're talking about today. I have been waiting to get to this part of the resurrection series. So, amen. Amen. Ready, go. Your turn, Tag. You're it. <laughs> well, I think, you know, for me, the thing that, keeps popping up is so many people with Easter they they show the pictures with you know the three crosses on the hill and they think it started and ended right there at the cross and you know and as we've learned over the past couple of weeks we realize it started so much further before that cross right um and was such a deep and powerful love you know that cross was just a means to a beginning amen you know I like that not a means to an end it was a means to the beginning of yes. life for us yes yes you know and so we we celebrate the cross and the cross is the cross is great without the cross it would be different it would be very different for us but we should celebrate that empty tomb we should yes. celebrate him getting up and going because it was that going that made us overcomers when we choose to accept we, we at that moment were made overcomers of anything that is less than yes. his love, less than his perfection. Yes. You know, and so it's, I'm excited about today. <laughs> Amen. Well, and there's, there's a lot of times what happens, uh, I've, I've seen this a lot in Christianity is uh, people will go up to the cross and that's kind of where the end of their spiritual journey ends yeah until they die and go to heaven and they leave it right there but the whole point was that cross that christ actually took us to the cross and the only thing that ended at the cross was your sin that's right <laughs> the only thing that ended at the cross was your bondage yep. uh you, you know death that's what ended. All of that stuff that came in the curse. The curse ended at the cross, but at what ha began at the cross was life and Amen. life in abundance, like John 10.10 10 yeah. says. That's what ended there, and th that the curse is what ended there. That's what began there was the abundant life that Jesus opened up. You know, in... Um, reset that we were talking about a few weeks ago one of the things that we kept going back to was in john three sixteen. that what was the bottom line the bottom line was not for christ to come the bottom line was not for our sins to go away he was getting us to a place and in john three sixteen, the very last portion of it says the bottom line was to get you and me to eternal, eternal life, life. That's right. And eternal life was an intimacy with God, a walking in the fullness of who God is. That was what he was trying to get us to. And he got us to that place when the tomb came empty. Amen. That's when it all started. So when that tomb came em empty, Jesus was headed somewhere. He yeah. was ascending to the right hand of the Father on high. And when he did that, he took us with him. Yeah. So there's, um, let's, let's just talk about him going for a second. So he says in John 16, 7, he says, But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. Resurrection, go. Mm -hmm. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Amen. So when he left, one of the first things that happened was he said, look, you are going to be better off because I go. My love, and you know, we've been talking about in the resurrection series, the depth of his love. Yeah. So 
here's the thing. The depth of his love didn't end when he sent Jesus to the world. The depth of his love didn't end uh, when he stayed on the cross. And it only just began and started something inside of us. The depths of his love now could manifest not just in Jesus, mm -hmm. but in you and me. His love, see, we cannot love until we've received love. 1 John 4 teaches us a lot about that. We love because he first loved us. We we could not love like Christ did until we received his love. Yeah. So the cross got us the ability to receive his love. But when he went, he released a power inside of us that now you could have a bunch of people moving around in the love of Christ, moving all over the world, being the hands and the feet of yeah. Christ, filling, fulfilling the heart of the Father, bringing about the manifestation of God's love everywhere. Ooh wee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, That's it, powerful. I know. I know. I've been waiting to get to this week. <laughs> <laughs> I have been. So there's some other things that happened when he went. When Jesus went, uh, let, let me just give you some of these and then we'll read some scriptures. Because Jesus went, these are some of the things that happened. When he went the enemies were completely defeated. Yeah. By, his, by going, the enemies were defeated. By an empty tomb, enemies were defeated. Yeah. By him going, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, our Helper, our Teacher, he could now be a part of who we are. By him going, resurrection power was released, not just in Jesus, but in you. Resurrection power. Not just power. We're talking about the power, the same power that, that brought Jesus back. Up. Yes, yeah. that brought him back to life. When he went, authority was released in your life. Mm -hmm. You have an authority that's amazing. When he went, when he, when he was going, now he begins working with us. He gave us the ability to go about his business and he would start working with us. When he was going, he brought about in the world people that didn't know him yet. He started to bring about a conviction inside of them that would help us advance the kingdom, build the kingdom. He started working with us. When he was going, he started interceding for us. He's sitting with the Father, interceding for us. When he was going, he brought us fullness of life. His life. His life. Yeah. Yep. And that life is even beyond what we can imagine and think. So yeah, in other words, think. the yeah. best life that you can imagine, it's beyond that. Yeah. Fullness of life. Life in every area of your life. He wants to bring you an abundance and overflow of his goodness. And this time. Yes. Not now just when you time. get to heaven, but now. Yes. When he went, that became yours now. That's what happened when he went. Yeah. When he, when he busted that grave wide open and left the tomb empty, that's what happened. Yeah. That's, there's, uh, see this, uh, will you read that Mark 16, 19? Yeah, Mark 16, 19 and 20 says, So then, when the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word by the signs that followed. So he said, you know, there's some important things. He said he was received up. So Jesus was going out of the earth and back to heaven. And then it says that he went to heaven and he, he was that received, man. which is awesome. And he sat down where? At the right hand of the Father. At the right hand. And you and I know, what does that mean to us? Mm. He, That's powerful. Yeah, what that means basically is that he was seating, sitting in the seat of authority yeah. at the place. A lot of times kings, what they would do is they would sit down their strongest, most authoritative person in their kingdom at their right hand. So when he said he sat down at the right hand of God, what he was saying was the father took the authority of the kingdom and gave it to Jesus and placed him in that seat. He gave him all mm -hmm. power and authority. That's what he told us in Matthew uh, 28. He said all power and authority has been given to me and I heard Jim Hockaday say one time he said so how much power and authority did that leave for the devil 
Absolutely none. Yep. So everything was done in that moment, that empty tomb. When Jesus went, it opened up everything. Really what we see is we see God's part come to the cross, mm -hmm. finish the work, and when he arose and went back up to heaven, that's when our part, he empowered us to be who he had created us to be in the garden. Yeah. He empowered us to be who we really were. So uh, I'll read this. He also said in that verse 20 that when they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word by the signs that followed. So in his going, he brought about a power to confirm what was being preached. Yeah. So now we're looking at what are the what is uh, everything that his going produced. It's producing life in all these different areas. It's. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, this is, I'll let you talk about this. Romans 8, 34, who is the one who condemns? Uh, Christ Jesus is he who died. Yes, rather, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who also intercedes for us. So when he went, he became our advocate. Yeah. And when we're in need, what's he doing? He's interceding on our behalf. You've yeah. got the son of God, you've got God interceding for you, yeah. you know, and, and I can't, my mind keeps going to this right hand of God. You know, we know that he's seated at the right hand of God and that's the seat of authority. Yeah. But it tells us we're seated with him in heavenly places. Yes. That authority is ours. Yep. You know, so not only do you have the authority yep. given to you at that moment that he chose to go, all authority became yes. ours. But on top of all authority, you now have the Son of God interceding on your behalf. <laughs> what is it that we can't do? <laughs> no. Not a single thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking, there's not a cotton-picking thing that we can't <laughs> do because we've got all power and all authority given to us the moment he chose to go. Yeah. Yes. And now we've got God interceding for us. Yeah. Yeah. There is... This, I mean, I say the sky's the limit, but the sky's not the limit. Yeah, right. <laughs> All because he, he chose to go. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you can imagine Jesus praying on <clears throat> your behalf, mm. seeing what you need in your life, and Jesus is interceding in the ear of the Father for us. And he only does yeah. what he sees and hears the Father do. Yeah. So you can know that if God is interceding, or Jesus is interceding for you, yeah. it's going to happen. That's right. Because <laughs> it's not a prayer. Yeah. It's not, you know, so many times we pray here, and it's a wishing and a hoping. You know, I'm starting to sing it. And a thinking <laughs> and a praying. But it's a, it's a faithless prayer. Right. And that's why it doesn't get answered. But when you have Jesus praying for you, yeah. He is praying out the will of the Father in your life, coming down upon you. You know when Jesus prays, God's going to answer his prayers. Yes, that's right. And that's, you know, a lot of times we don't know what we need to pray about. Yeah. We don't really fully know the size of the situation. Right. We, don't, we don't fully know everything that's going on and everything that's affecting. But, but he God sees does. All. And so, all right, here's this area that we're not even aware of. Jesus is interceding for us. He's putting that thing uh, to complete in. Yeah. And we didn't even know it was happening. That's right. That's his great. And think about this. When we talked about resurrection, stay, resurrection, uh, leave. leave, and stay, we were talking about the depth of his love. Well, now you have the depth of his love praying for you you have that level of love that is interested in your things yeah. in your life and life in abundance that's who's interceding in the father's ear and when and you know that it's that love yes that caused him to leave heaven and it's that yes. love that held him to the cross how much more powerful is that love yes. going to be now when he's calls, when he's praying on your behalf? Now all the hindrances are out of the way. Yes. Now all power and authority has been given to him. Now yes. all the enemies have been vanquished. Now at this time, so now when he's interceding, when he's your advocate, there's nothing holding us back. Mm -mm. The only thing that holds us back is if you don't know this. 
our choosing to not receive it. If or you lack don't of know this yeah. and this authority, then you will not believe in this direction, and your belief can hold that back. And we could spend a lot of, I could prove that to you, but that's not what today's about. But yeah. your belief and your knowledge, he said, look, my, my people are going into captivity and destroyed because of lack of knowledge and understanding. So our knowledge about this is very important. That's why we're talking about this today. That's the only thing that would hold back yourself is your own, you using your own authority in a lack of faith or a lack of knowledge over what Christ has already done. It's huge, yeah. and that's, what's, that's what has kept a lot of people in, in a bad place. But All right, so l watch this. He says uh, here in, let me find it, Acts chapter 2. He says in verse 32, This Jesus God raised up again to which we are all witnesses. Therefore, all right, so what are we talking about? We're talking about Jesus going and being raised up. Therefore, having been exalted to the right hand of God, there it is again, mm -hmm. and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he has poured forth this which you both see and hear. And what had happened is they had just had a big pouring out of the power of God. Right. For it was not David who ascended into heaven, but he himself says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. In other words, he made his enemies nothing. Yep. He made his enemies nothing. <coughs> he made his enemies nothing. nothing. He's at the right hand in authority because of his going. And then Matthew 28, he put it this way. He said, all power and authority is given unto me. Yeah. In other words, he, if he, they're his enemies, they're also your enemies. That's right. And your enemies are now a footstool. They're a nothing in your life. And it all came about because the tomb is empty, our Lord is alive, and he went. Amen. He went back up to heaven. Amen. He sat down at the right hand of God. All of this is now available to believers, available to his family. His love poured out so that we could be a part of his family and be adopted so that we could receive and act and move in these promises so that we could receive and act and uh, take part of the plan that God had for us. Uh, how important is him going? Oh, just a wee bit yeah. big. <laughs> it's, it's pretty big. Yeah. So here's another thing. Colossians 3, 1 through mm -hmm. 3. Do you see that? You want to read that? Yeah, it says, Therefore, if you've been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on the things on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. That's, yeah, that's good. Well, see, here's the thing, and we haven't gotten to this scripture yet, but in Ephesians chapter 2, it mm -hmm. tells us that because he went, we were raised up and seated with him. You mentioned it earlier yeah. in heavenly places. And so what he's saying here is that our life is hidden. Our life is within Christ. Our life, it's protected. I, hidden, hidden. I think we could say it even better like this. Our life is protected where moth and rust cannot destroy. Right. Our life is there and the devil can't touch it. Our life is under the authority and the wraps of God and he has it there for us so that when we will set our mind on things above and not on the things of the earth. In other words, by him, oh man, this when he went to heaven, when he got up there and he sat down at the right hand of the Father, all of a sudden he gave us the authority by seating us with him, all right? Because he left heaven to the earth, because he stayed on the cross, and now because the tomb is empty and Jesus is alive and we are raised up with him, we don't have to look around and see things the way that you and I see them right. on the earth. We can look around from our position 
at the right hand of the Father with yeah. Christ and see things totally different. Yeah. Now we're looking at things from a whole different ballgame, a whole different perspective. See, a lot of times as Christians, we, we've had this problem. We're looking at things from the earth, looking up, but we don't realize that our true position, the truth, mm -hmm. not just the facts, but the truth in God is that we are seated in heavenly places in Christ. And our perspective is not to be uh, from the earth, looking at the earth. Our position and our perspective is to be, we're seated with Christ, setting our eyes on the things of heaven, on the authority of, of Jesus yes. going. We are looking down on it with yes. all authority, with his authority, because yes. we are enveloped in him. Yes, yes, yes. It did not end at the cross. Only the curse did. Life began. began. Yeah. God finished his portion of the deal. Yeah. Now it's our job to, by faith, pick up who we are, where we're seated, yeah. and go with him into the earth. I'll, uh, there's more to this that we're, we'll talk about probably next week. But right now I want to go to Matthew 28. And this is the Great Commission, Matthew 28, 18 through 20. You want to read that? Yep. It says, And Jesus came up and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Amen. So what he's telling us is this. Listen, I came down to the earth. I came down to the earth and I stayed on that cross. I went into the grave, but then I came up out of that grave and I went to the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. And as I went to the right hand of the Father, at that moment, all authority, all power was given to me. And he says, so now this authority, this power that you have, yeah. ha, that I have been given, go therefore. You I take it. it and you use this power and authority yeah. to go and be who I've called you to be. That begins right now with you connecting with him. Mm -hmm. With you seeing the love, seeing the promises that he has and making those promises yours. So we invite you right now. Would you like to go with Christ? Mm -hmm. Would you like to be a part of what he's doing and be a part of those promises? And, and that just begins with you turning your heart over to him. And yeah. you want to lead them in that prayer and just, yeah. yeah, amen. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you that Jesus chose to go for us. We thank you yeah. that with that going, he is now seated in heavenly places and he has that authority and he has given that authority, uh, authority to us. And so, yes, Father, Lord. we just, we stand in that authority and we receive your love. We receive all that Christ died for us to have. We receive him as our Lord and Savior. And we receive his power. And, Father, help us now to use that power and according to your word to go and to make disciples, to be world changers for you. We thank you that at that cross we became overcomers and we just yes. receive that now. We receive the fullness of your love, the fullness of our salvation that Christ died for us to have. We choose to receive it now yeah. in Jesus' name and we thank you for it, Lord. We thank you that our lives will never be the same. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Well, we're wrapping up today, Resurrection Go. And uh, as we do, we invite you to connect with us at connectionshow.org. We're going to be talking about this some more next week. There's some very important parts uh, in Ephesians uh, chapter 1 and chapter 2 that show uh, some huge portions of what happened when Jesus went to heaven. And we just invite you to come back. If you need anything, have any prayer requests, just let us know. And uh, we just thank you for being a part of Connection Show uh, today. We hope you have a great day. We love you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you for joining Brian and Nicole for this week's broadcast. Connection is all about connecting you more intimately with Jesus, where you can find true joy, 
and really live. Contact us or watch more shows online at connectionshow.org. We love you. Have a great week.